I always hope that no matter how small the original problem is, it's going to grow into bigger and bigger proportions that get completely out of control, and I'll give you a concrete example. Let's say a water main breaks in downtown Los Angeles and it floods an electrical substation, knocking out all the traffic lights and tying up the entire city and emergency vehicles can't get through. And at the same time, one of those month-long global warming heat waves comes along, but there's no air conditioning, there's no water for sanitation, so cholera, smallpox, and dysentery break out, and thousands of people start dying in the streets. But before they die, parasites eat their brains and they go completely fucking crazy and they storm the hospital but the hospital can't handle all the casualties so these people rape all the nurses and set the hospital on fire and the flames drive them even crazier so they start stabbing social workers and garbage men and a big wind comes along and the entire city goes up in flames and the people who are still healthy they get mad at the sick people and they start crucifying them nailing them to crosses trying on their underwear shit like that then everybody smokes crack and PCP and they march on City Hall where they burn the mayor at the stake, strangle his wife, and take turns sodomizing the statue of Larry Flint. And at this point, at this point it looks like pretty soon things are gonna start to get out of control. So everybody panics and tries to leave the city at the same time. And, and they trample each other to death in the streets by the thousands and wild dogs eat their corpses. And the wild dogs chase the rest of the people down the highway. And one by one, the dogs pick off the old fucks and the slow people because they're in the fast lane where they don't belong. Get the fuck out of the fast lane if you're an old fuck, if you're a slow fuck. Get over on the right, get over on the right. And then, and the lucky ones, the lucky people who manage to make it all the way outside of town, they discover when they get there that big sparks from the city have lit the suburbs on fire. And the suburbs burn uncontrollably. And thousands of identical homes have identical fires with identical smoke. <laughs> killing all the identical soccer moms and their identical kids named Jason and Jennifer. <laughs> and now, now the fire spreads to the farmlands and the farmlands burn intensely at 425 degrees, creating millions of baked potatoes. And as the farmlands burn, as the farmlands burn, thousands of barns and farmhouses begin to explode from all the hidden methamphetamine labs. And the meth chemicals run downhill into the rivers and streams where wild animals drink the water and get completely geeked on speed. So bears and wolves amped up on cranks start roaming the countryside looking for people to eat, even though they're not really hungry. And the fire spreads to the forest, and the forests burn furiously, and hundreds of elves and trolls and fairies come running out of the woods screaming, Bambi is dead! Bambi is dead! And he is, he is, finally that fucking little cunt Bambi is dead. <laughs> dead. Now hundreds of regional fires come together into one huge interstate inferno, and all 12 of the western United States are burning out of control, except Utah, where the Mormons don't allow fires. And the fire spreads across the Great Plains, toasting the wheat, cooking the cattle, and producing hamburgers, actually. <laughs> then it leaps the Mississippi and races through the South, blowing up stills, interrupting lynchings, and killing millions of inbred people. And then it turns northeast and it heads for Washington, D.C., where George Bush can't decide if it's an emergency or not. <laughs> he can't decide this. He doesn't know.